can't get a hold of my sleep. Don't be skimping out on it the protein. What the shit was that? <laughs> what? Yeah. I won in a bodybuilding competition. Bubs and guns. A lot of transitional pieces. Just rocked up to fitness culture. I'm gonna be real with you guys for a second. I feel like crap today. It's the fact that I'm still not can't get a hold of my sleep. I need a better sleep routine, sleep hygiene, whatever they call it. I look like I haven't slept because I fell asleep probably around three and just tossed and turned for probably two hours. Then I went out and moved to the couch. For some reason, I slept a little bit better out there. I even put like hobs on my chest. So I was up late, obviously, at the house last night doing that walkthrough, taking some things over there. That was about 10.30. And I'm realizing, like, even though I don't feel tired at 10.30, I'm juiced up on life. I'm excited about the fact that, you know, we're going to be moving into this new house and got all these good stuff going on. I'm jumping on Pinterest. I'm creating boards for the the new kitchen or the new you know what i want to do with the fireplace what i want to do for fitness culture new machines and making lists in my head it's just going 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 it's taking me so long to then come down and relax and so i have to start getting into a better habit of around nine o'clock electronics go off meditate shower read read something that's not because i even read i pulled out my book at like 2 10 in the morning and read for a little bit because i was just sitting there staring at the ceiling so it's gonna be a long day we were operating on about four hours of half-ass sleep. So, and start, start picking up a cough, just immune system gets run down. So, gonna have to power through today. We're gonna be moving, actually, we're gonna be moving to a lot of the stuff, not the big moving day, big moving day where we have movers coming is tomorrow, but we're gonna be moving a lot of boxes and stuff today. I'm meeting right now with my team about the fitness culture, our eight week challenge. So that's going on right now. I'll give you guys more details about that. I'm gonna run upstairs and then I need to work out and I need some food and I don't know where my thyroid medicine's at. <laughs> I'm a shit sir. I'm a shit, I can't even talk. I'm a shit show right now. I'm a shit show. Also worth mentioning, it's like 40 degrees out here. I'm wearing shorts because I don't, all my clothes were at the other house. I took them over there last night. So what I'm wearing is just random bits and pieces that I have. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Look at that. See people remembering you just feels good. It feels good to be loved, doesn't it, Hayden? I love you, Alan. Get some people, get some people training nice and early. Those legs aren't gonna grow themselves. Man. I'm just waiting for you, bro. <laughs> What's going on? That's Vernon. Great trainer in here. Oh my gosh, babe, you didn't tell me my hair looked like this. This is what we've been doing for the past hour. Had to bust out the trailer, starting to load stuff. Morgan's like, oh no, it'll be easy. We'll just get movers. Movers are coming tomorrow. I'm still doing a lot of stuff. Yes, I need to lock my truck. Clubs and guns in there. Clubs and guns. All right, so I'm leaving my truck hooked up. It's locked. And we're going to head over to the gym for a much needed haircut. This is me at my worst. If you don't love me at my worst, you can't have me at my best. What are you What are you eating? Do you love me at your worst? I love you at your everything. No, your worst, not my worst. Do you love me at your worst? <laughs> when you were at your when you were at your worst, do you love me still? Duh. Are you still are you a little mean to me when you're at your worst? No. Alright, will you give me a bite of that? <laughs> How much do you love me? Talk. With chicken. Don't be skimping out on and the pro. There is a massive freaking thing of chicken in there. Look at that. We have such different color skin tones, it's crazy. Mm. Is that Ben That's a bit grunty. <laughs> mm, 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 uh, uh, <laughs> and I drooled a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Deleted. That's on... Deleted. Brand. <laughs> <laughs> That's on brand? Why is that funny? What? Nothing. Why, why are you laughing? <laughs> this is our lives right now. We're a shit show. Honestly, it's a good thing we live like four minutes from the gym. Our new place will be like eight minutes from the gym, but it has a little path along the river. It's gonna be so easy. What the shit was that? <laughs> it's gonna have a path along like the river that basically I can ride the bike straight from the house to the gym. Oh, we have dinner with the oars tonight too. Shaysa. All right, time to tame this flow. We're in Eli's barbershop. Eli, do you have actually a name for the barbershop? Barbers and merchants? We need to get you a cool sign outside. Eli's like 
Eli's like the plant god too. Like the guy is the plant whisperer up in here. He just makes green, he just makes every spot look green. So we're gonna show you, I'm gonna put my phone into cinematic mode and I'm gonna try to get it. my shit that I just shot on those iPhone commercials where they say actually shot on an iPhone. That shit was clean. <laughs> Cinematographer Steve. This, I gotta sit down right now though and go through my Pinterest board. Yeah, I got one of those. I got Pinterest boards for everything. Don't hate. <laughs> Been doing it for the house. I have our current house, like stuff on Pinterest that looks like it might work in our current house. I have our future build and then I have our future Australian house already all planned out on Pinterest. I even have the new fitness culture gym I want to do already planned out on Pinterest. All right, the goal for this haircut, no skin fade. Skin fades are, skin fades are for a younger Steve. So we're gonna go just more of a timeless look, something that I can rock with, you know, just come in, get it trimmed up on the side. So keeping it, keeping it manageable. Don't want to get too long on the top because there's a point at, when it gets super long and unmanageable, I'll just throw a hat on. So I want to not get to that point. So we'll be trying to get the haircut here with Eli. I would say just do one once every once every three weeks. Knock it out. Keep me from wearing a beanie because my shit, oh my gosh, my scalp. If I wear a beanie like for more than a day, my whole scalp just starts flaking. It's miserable. Been pretty average with the vlog camera today because we've had real life shit with the housing. Packing up, I hate moving. I freaking hate it, but something we gotta do. Eli did a great job with the hair. We're just taking a massive load on the trailer, pulling the trailer over to the house. Probably won't stay in the house tonight. Still need to get internet, all the bills put in over there. Probably I really want a love sack couch and they're actually from St. George, Utah. Like they have wireless chargers in the couch and like you do a subwoofer in the couch. It looks insane. I've wanted it for a while. Really wanna try to do a collab because I've really enjoyed, well, I just follow him on Instagram and I really am like, that thing looks sick. So hopefully we can get that going. All right, we're needing to cut, what was it, zip ties? Yes. We're, we're moving into the house. We're needing to cut some zip ties that are on the hangers. And the only thing I have is this. What? Yeah. Yeah. Babe, the only thing I had was this. Is that? I won in a bodybuilding competition. It's so weird. I've said it before. Why are bodybuilding competitions obsessed with giving out the most random, like, martial art award trophy things ever? How is this bodybuilding? Red dragon eye. Okay, here. Let's here. Will you hold this while I cut these open? What do I got? I'm honestly nervous. Okay, what do I get? What are you gotta cut? Okay, these. hold it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. Is this serious? Are you for real right now? Like, is this act? Yeah! Although, I Are you watching this, Mona? <sighs> Forgot to upload today's YouTube. Been moving. Met some longtime friends for dinner. They wanted to meet Morgan's mom, who's only in town for a few more days. So I got ready at the other house, went to dinner, came back here. So I have probably 60% of my stuff at that house, maybe even a little bit more. Tomorrow was the big actual move day. Got to wake up super early. Like I said, when I started this video, did not sleep at all last night and have felt sick. Just like little cough stuff, a little fever today, just run down. So I actually did not train today. Kind of went back and forth on it, but just with the sore throat I'm dealing with, with the cough, just trying to function on three hours of sleep isn't nice. So. My friend that we actually had dinner with tonight, he is a doctor. Talked about getting on a sleeping medication. Not sure if I want to do that yet. I'd like to try to see if I can push through this move, push through taking over uh, the gym. Jake and Sonny are looking to move back to Idaho. Um, and I think it'll be something where Morgan and I will, you know, have some passion, kind of go hands on. Jake and Sonny, Jake has been my partner on the gym and Sunny, his wife, bless her heart, she she got cancer, breast cancer. Jeez, it was about a year and a half ago now. Was that was it that long ago now? But she it was a while ago, yeah. super tough, fought through that, and now she's you know double mastectomy. They're gonna want kids here, and I think they they uh, might 
be moving to be closer with family but i also think yeah so just a lot of a lot of transitional pieces between us moving the gym leaving gymshark high high stress stuff so trying to manage that and that means getting into a nice sleep, sleep routine so it's 9 15 i'm gonna upload the video today this is my good night we'll see you bright and early because i'm actually gonna be working out at 7 30 tomorrow morning so gonna try to get full eight hours Try to be asleep by 10 tonight, up by 6 a.m. tomorrow morning and get after it.